They say that dreams come true and when they do that, there's a beautiful day. Welcome to Conversations of Consequence. My name is Andrew J. Serrano. Introduce yourself. Do I look into the camera saying it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm Diego Trujillo. And... Uh, and you're a senior. Oh, you're I'm a senior, senior you know. It's my last year in Perth Amwell High School. It's been a blessing. <laughs> I love I love learning here. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, Diego, what would you say makes you you? Well, personally, I feel like I'm a very charismatic person. I I see someone. Well, I don't want to say I see someone walking down the street. I feel like I need to talk to them. But with my friends, personally, especially you, if I see that you're down, I'm obviously gonna. Oh, actually, I'm a straightforward person. <laughs> I'm a straightforward Why did person. Why switch up? I don't know. I was lying. I was lying. I was lying. <laughs> you were lying. Nah, I'm a, I'm a, I feel as if I'm a charismatic person. You know, just, just now, I, I, I made your face light up with joy. Oh, wow. You, you, really, you think you're that guy, huh? Yeah, no, I, I'm the him, personally. <laughs> I know you didn't just say that. No, honestly, I feel like I have a, a certain aura with me, you know? The people around me, I... I feel like I could make them happy. Yeah, bro, I don't know what else to say about that. Yeah, so you just like me in a sense. Mini me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I'm trying to be like you. I'm trying to get like you. <laughs> trying to get like you, my boy. Um, I noticed that at the same time, uh, although you're charismatic, you can also be very reserved and quiet and like to yourself in a sense. Why do you think that is? Um, Sorry. No, you're good. Yeah. Uh, shit. <laughs> I can't say bad words. No, you cannot say bad words. <laughs> nah. Okay. The, f the reason why I'm reserved or closed off in a sense is because I, I don't really... It's just like that. I'm a closed off person. I, I enjoy the people that I surround myself with. I feel like that the people I'm already around mm -hmm. are good enough for me but you know if you don't know people then yeah it's not you're not really gonna talk for the most part you're just an observer yeah mm. and with like the school year ending I feel that I need to switch it up you know I need to be more outgoing because if I keep to myself then you know yeah, I pride myself in having a fun life but if there really isn't anybody around me to be having a fun life with then it's you know what's not the point really a fun life yeah um, you joined tennis this year. How has the season been for you personally? Um, we went on a <laughs> a clean two two and fourteen record. You know, <laughs> no. two wins, fourteen losses. That the loss might be a little less, like two two and eleven maybe. Okay. But at that point, you know, it's not really about winning or losing. You know, it's I feel since like I started last year, right, mm -hmm. and I was buns, like actual. Like, I couldn't hit anything. But comparing then to now, I've grown a lot. And, um, you know, what's it called? <laughs> I enjoy being with my team, you know. Oh, okay. Have you met any new people from the team? I've gotten close to a lot of people. Like, Dante, he's my partner. He's the person I've been playing with. Shout out to Dante. Yeah, Dante's the real one. Roberto, Brian, Steven. And there's people from the team, like, from last year that I just started talking to. Like, Caesar, he's been on the team. We joined the same year, and we just started talking. I feel like because of Steven, personally, you know, he's a, he's a character for sure. But because of that, it really brought the team together, and it made a, a really cool environment to be in. Love to hear it. Um... Why do you cling to music so much? I notice you love music. Yeah, if you see me, you know, if Always if I if I had the opportunity <laughs> opportunity to, I'd probably be blasting music in my ears right now. Yeah. Um. I feel that music goes more than just what it is, more than what it meets the eyes. Because, to me, if I hear a song, I instantly think of a memory that, you know, that song was playing during it. Oh, I spit. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nah. What's it so called? Fancy. Nah. What? Well, like I said, I I 
associate music with memories. And it, it can be like sad memories, yeah. But there's also happy ones or rageful ones. But I think it's just like, it's crazy to me that we connect music with memories. Like, yeah, when we do it subconsciously, it's uh, it's one of the best feelings, and it might be some of the worst too. Yeah. But like, you could find that perfect nostalgia song and be like, "Oh my god," and you can exactly. remember exactly where you were and what you were doing and how you were feeling at that moment sometimes too. And oh my goodness, I had another one. Oh, do you think music adds to your character by chance? Let me think about that real quick. Yeah, it does. That was <laughs> <real quick. laughs> I feel, I feel music does add something to me. It makes me a more like, you know, what's the word? Open. It makes me more open to to people's thoughts, like um the new Kendrick album, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Lyrical miracle. <laughs> exactly. I, I feel like. It also forms connections too, because you know we always, me and you personally, we we talk about music, we clown on each other, we but do. but that's like one of the things that you know music does. Like you can, it just forms connections. It's easy to form connections, and it appeals to emotion a lot. I feel personally, I'm a very emotional person, and like I said, how I associate memories with music, that helps me. It creates an outlet for me to you know be forward with my feelings, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, going back to what you said earlier, it does bring people closer. Like, me and you, we clown each other a lot. <laughs> but despite the clowning, it's like, uh, it's funny, you know? And like, I don't want to like mention Twitter, but you know? <laughs> like on Twitter, you'll see things like, oh, young boy better, young boy this, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He, he's not really good, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> Hopefully I don't catch a lot of heat for that one. But yeah, that's my take on it. Um you lately you've been styling on us, so what's with the fits? Um, you know, tennis, bro. Tennis makes me look like a bum. <laughs> I I have to be wearing the same shoes cuz I don't want I don't want walk, I don't want to walk back home, you know, change into tennis shoes. So I'm just going to be wearing what I'm going to be playing in. And that's like comfort, but you know, season's ending. You know, I gotta show out. Oh right, right. Gotta I'll gotta spice it up you. a little. Got got a, a freshie. Little freshie. You already, freshie, bro. You already <laughs> know how it is. I feel that though. I feel that. Mine isn't as clean as yours, but you nah, know, bro, but you look amazing. Nah, you that's all good. you, bro. We're trying to get there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, thank you for coming on the interview. What can I say? You're what? exactly what I needed. Oh well, I'm what? exactly what you needed. <laughs> Why are you acting like Jack Harlow right now? I don't know, the haircut changed me. I can tell you're a lot more light skinned. Okay. Alright, <laughs> let's do it one more time. Thank you for coming on the interview. Of course. Finito. Okay.